Hello and welcome to Sonia Used to Be On its channel. Today we're going to make a spiral ham using only two ingredients. The first ingredient we're going to use is this Coca-Cola. The next thing we're going to use is light brown sugar. The first thing I want to recommend before getting started is that you cover the hair because we don't want to take a chance in finding hair in the food. So let's get started. Here you have a spiral ham that I actually purchased from Sam's Club. This is a 10 pound ham. This is um, half a cup of brown, light brown sugar. And we mentioned the Coca-Cola. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and we're going to open this. Usually when you buy ham, any kind of ham spiral or just a whole ham, it comes with its own pre-packaged of glaze. I'm not going to use this though. We're going to create our own glaze. And also by it being wrapped up, a lot of people would think that you should not clean the ham, although it's, it is spiral, but I'm still going to do it. So I'm going to open this up. And the container that I'm going to use is once I wipe clean this with some running water, this is my cake pan top. I'm going to take this cake pan top, take this ham, the spiral ham, we're going to place it face down in the bucket in the cake pan top, and we're going to fill it up with Coca-Cola. But first, let's go ahead and open this so we can wipe some of it off. So. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to get up the sink because the juice is going to go everywhere. See, that's all the extra added juice they put inside. Turn the water on. So we're going to clean this really, really good. Hold it from underneath because you know you have the, the spiral ham is actually sliced. But you still want to go ahead and rinse that off a little bit. At least I do. I want to go ahead and rinse that to make sure. Okay. There we go. See, it's going to fall apart some, but that's okay. That is okay. We're going to take this for our ham, and like I said, I'm going to use my cake pan. I'm actually going to place this because it's wide enough for me. If you don't have a cake pan, you can use whatever size bowl you have that's going to accommodate your ham. We're going to take this ham. We're going to place it face down. Okay, we actually have the spiral ham inside the container, which I'm going to actually soak in Coca-Cola. And normally I would do this overnight, allow the spiral ham to soak in the Coke overnight to absorb the, the, flavor, the flavor from the Coca-Cola. But this time, since we're kind of limited on time, I'm only going to allow this to sit to the side as I prepare my side dishes. So we're going to go ahead and it may fizz. That's okay. I'm going to open that Coca-Cola. And we're just going to glaze that ham. We're going to use this entire bottle. And there you have it. That's part one of actually cooking a spiral ham cooked in Coca-Cola. We're going to allow this to sit at least for two hours since I cannot cook it, leave it overnight to sitting. The, and after we let it sit, we're going to take it out of that Coca-Cola. We're going to wrap it in aluminum foil and we're going to cook it in our cooking pan. Now, keep in mind now, although you're allowing this to absorb the the syrup of the Coca-Cola, when it cooks, it's going to evaporate and leave that sweetness from that Coke inside of that ham. And it's going to flavor it so good. It's going to taste so good. And the last step that we're going to do, is we're going to actually use the brown sugar to coat the top to just give it a glaze to it. Put a glaze on it. So let's go ahead and sit this to the side and we will be back with the remaining steps to cooking a spiral ham using Coca-Cola and light brown sugar. This has been sitting in my refrigerator for probably about two hours. Normally I will allow it to sit overnight, but due to time, um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the Coca-Cola. So also what we're gonna do is remove it and wrap it in aluminum foil. Make sure whatever pan that you have, I'm gonna wrap it in this aluminum foil. Whatever pan you have or you're gonna use, make sure it's large enough to accommodate the ham. So some of this I'm gonna have to pick up with hand and some I'm gonna have to actually, um, I'm gonna use a fork. It's gonna seem like it's falling apart. And if it look like it's really brown, my hands are clean. As you can see, it's turning brown. And what it's doing is absorbing, it's absorbing that coat. It's actually turning brown as you can see. It's turning brown. 
I'm gonna take that ham and place it right there. We're gonna keep this juice because we're still gonna use that leftover Coke to cook with it. Here's the spire ham. It looked like it's falling apart, but that's okay. I, this is what I want you to see. If you actually allow it to soak overnight, this whole ham is gonna turn brown. And that's the coat absorbing through the ham. But that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it. And it doesn't have to be all perfect when you wrap it. You're just trying to secure it to make sure it's gonna stay together. Okay, the pan I'm gonna use is my roaster. This is what I use to cook. This is what I use to cook my uh, turkey in. And sometimes I cook ham in it also. So lift that baby up. Place it inside that roaster. Okay, you have two options. This is what I would recommend you do. You can either pour this leftover Coca-Cola at the bottom. Just pour it on the pour it on. I know it's on a little bit full, but just pour it on there. And it's going to settle at the bottom. Save some of it because what's going to happen is what's at the bottom is going to absorb it and cook it. Then once it starts cooking for about, I want to say about 45 minutes, you're going to open some of that aluminum foil up and you're going to pour the rest of it in between the ham. Okay, so I'm going to pour half of that juice on top of there. I'm going to go ahead and um, you can either, if you have a top pan, cover it, which I have a top pan with vents to it. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that. Place that in my oven on 350. The first 45 minutes, I'm gonna let it cook some. I'm gonna take it out, remove the aluminum foil, the top part of it, and then I'm gonna pour the remaining of the Coca-Cola on top and leave it in the oven for another probably 45, 60 minutes, about another hour, and it's gonna be ready. Okay, I've just pulled the ham out of the oven. I'm gonna cook for about 30, 40 minutes. And what I'm going to do, use something protective for your hands because I'm just used to doing it this way. Okay, what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove that top layer of that aluminum foil. I'm going to pull that back. And then the remaining of my Coca-Cola that I had, I'm going to spread that on there, open in between. I wish you can smell this. I'm gonna pour that on there. We're not gonna put that top coat of aluminum foil back on there. We're just gonna place the lid back on. And let it cook for about another hour. And then we're gonna take it out 15 minutes before that hour is up and we're gonna glaze it with the light brown sugar, the half a cup of light brown sugar and it should be ready. So here's the final result of the spiral baked ham using only Coca-Cola and brown sugar. We actually absorbed the ham into the Coca-Cola. The finished product was adding that brown sugar on top. Remember we talked about the last 15 minutes we was gonna pull it out of the oven and glaze, just take that brown sugar and glaze the top of your ham. Then you're gonna take the juice from the Coca-Cola and you're gonna just pour it over the brown sugar. And it's gonna give it a glaze like this. But this is the end product of having uh, only two ingredients to actually cook this ham, the spiral ham. I use Coca-Cola and I use light brown sugar. I hope you have enjoyed this time we have shared together in making this spiral baked ham using Coca-Cola and brown sugar. Next to come is Southern style collard greens and cornbread. Stay tuned, there is more to come and be blessed.